Hello YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus back. Want to show you where I'm at. I've been um, working at this off and on, still making progress. Had a bit of a, um, a finding here earlier in the week. Uh, Mr. Nag Tigil, our friend from the Netherlands who's been working on this. I have a link on my channel to his channel. Um, Yesterday he touched on uh, what I've been testing, and I want to show it as well. Um, I've been playing with this for a few days, but basically previously had the coils uh, wired together like this. Now they're wound in opposite directions, right? If you straighten that core out, you'll see. Um, imagine straightening it out. And then you'll see that they're wound in different directions, like I showed a, shown on a previous video. Now, what I've done is, um, basically, I have flipped this coil around. Let me just back up a bit. Flipped it around which doesn't change the winding direction, right? You can flip the coil back and forth and it, the winding direction is still going to be opposite, right? It's still going to be opposite. Uh, now I still have previous to flipping them. You can see that the, the two front terminals or start windings were linked here and the two back ones here. And then I had been tapping in between. Um, now what I've done is I flipped that coil around, so now the two front ones are still attached, but I've separated the two back ones, which would be these ones, and that's where I'm tapping now, and I get double the voltage and double the current. <laughs> Basically, I had it pointed out to me the other day, and I really appreciate uh, th that uh, being pointed out to me. Um, and I'm just getting to testing all these things and um, tested a bunch of other stuff as well. But basically, uh, having the coil like this, like we had up here, um, only getting half the current and voltage, right? So I flipped this coil around, which basically the windings stay the same, like I just mentioned, right? The windings are still opposite. But since I flipped them, this coil, now what it does, the windings are the same, but what it has done is it's changed the polarity of this coil in comparison to this coil. So now let's say it was flipped back, both these ends might be north and both these might be south of the coils. Now I've flipped it and now they're opposites and also wired a little differently. Um, and it's producing uh, double the voltage and double the current. And I just want to show you where I'm at. Um, now I have, I'll show you on the coils here. Um, I don't know if you can see clearly. Here's that, here's that attachment. I've flipped this coil. This side used to be over here. They matched the blue and the blue. But now I've flipped it. So the polarities of the coils of this one is switched and now they're relative to each other the poles are different these two start windings here and here are still connected together but this connection and this connection are now what's going into my bridge rectifier I just ignore this part I'm going to be testing um, more coils um, but I wanted to get a little bank here going because it was really pulling on my terminals here on the um, bridge rectifier and it was going to wreck them. But anyways, got it sturdied up. Just ignore this side. That's just getting ready for another coil set to go on there. So basically I'm coming again into the bridge rectifier. I have a switch before the rectifier. I have my voltage leads here. Um, prior to the to the bridge rectifier and I have my ammeter right on the output and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up 
And I might as well do that now. Okay, we're ready to go. Let her get get up to speed while I'm sitting here talking, describing. Um, so basically what I have arranged here is similar to my last video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this lead, connect it through the motor, and the motor is hooked on to, I needed a little extension here. Let's move this over here. Nice. Okay. So, and then uh, this is going to come back into the... So anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what it's given me first straight out of the terminal. So then I'm going to disconnect it and show you what it does to the motor. Last video, my motor uh, was spinning very, very slow. Maybe like that. Something like that. Very slow. It's a little faster now. You'll see. Oh, we can look at the input as well. Um, hello? Okay. So, and I have a U-Core. I've been testing the cores. Now, to go with that, uh, the U-Core is better for getting your um, reaction. Uh, but really what I want to say about the cores is that a laminated core like this, with uh, laminations, um, is going to give you a better output but it's going to give you a little less of an effect than a solid bar. And that's what I've been finding. Just want to mention that. Um, I can put individual bars on here with uh, nice laminated cores. Big, nice thicker ones I made. Um, I can put those on there and get uh, half an amp. But when you engage the coil to use the electricity, it slows the wheel down. It gives kind of an opposite effect with the laminations. Now I'm going to get some my rebar out. I'm going to make a couple more U's like this and keep testing these things. I think we're probably close to our top speed. We got 9.7 volts AC. We are going 398. I was going to say miles per hour. 398 RPM, right? 398, that's almost 400, which is really good. Um, now I have these, because it's a U, there's more attraction. I have a little wider separation there. Um, it's all a bit of a balancing act so far, <laughs> but I want to show you where I'm at. Now with the wheel, the, the wheel goes 445 RPM uh, with nothing next to it, right? So we're going... Oops, almost 400 RPM. 398. It's hard for me to hold my hand still with that little motor jump on it. Okay, so uh, that's about our top end. What I'm going to do is... Uh, engage this coil now and I'm going to send the electricity through this ammeter so we're getting 0.16 amps or 160 milliamps now not all of the energy is going through this ammeter it's not quite as good as a dead short right there's still a little bit trapped in there but our input amps have gone down a touch and we're speeding up. Let me get that straight note. This is going to speed up to about 410, I believe. But we've sped up and we're using the electricity a little bit, you know, we're getting. Now I'd like to disengage. And what I'm going to do is disconnect here, connect to the motor and then connect to the other side of the motor back to the terminal and I'm just going to give it a little spin get it started, engage it now again, 
this motor definitely isn't as good as a dead short, but it's not as good as running it through this ammeter either. Uh, 0.11 amps are going through and about half the voltage. Right? But the wheel goes better than before. I'm getting, this is a different coil set than my last video, but I'm getting better energy out of the out of the system. And now we'll look at our speed. Oops, straight now. Four, three. Now it's not going to go near the 410 as it would have through the ammeter or short it out, it's going to go even faster. It's going to go up to about 415, 420 I want to say. 420, 425 even. But um, we're wanting to use a little bit of the electricity to show the uh, the effect. Now I have a piece of reflective tape on here as well. I can show the RPM. Oops. And it's, in, it's increasing still a little bit. 230 RPMs out of that baby. <laughs> now this again, I need to put a couple more magnets on there positions and then it will have one-third of the position. So what I'm aiming for here, uh, because this is going about 400 RPM, right? I'm going to want this to go three times that fast, I think. So I'm aiming for about 1,200 RPMs. And we're about a quarter of the way. But that's where we're at. Much fat, it's going much better than uh, previously. And actually, I've had it going faster. <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you guys where I'm at, show you that I'm still working hard at this and making progress still. Now, I think that the um, feeding this into a homopolar motor is still the dead short. It's going to, you know, it's going to give the full effect use the full amount of electricity but I wanted to show you where I'm going here what's going on um, I still need to get wire I'm ordering it tomorrow I'm glad I haven't actually because I've been back and forth on um, what gauge I want this is too thick this is my this is somewhere near 18 gauge uh, my 16 gauge coil set there and 25 um, the gauge of the wire is important. So I'm, I'm tomorrow I'm going to order the 20 gauge. Is what I want. A little bit smaller than this stuff. I want a little higher voltage. But this is where we're at. If I can hold my hand still. 240 RPMs. We're still getting a good effect here. 400 RPMs. So there you go. Wanted to show you where I'm at. Again, uh, rewired the coils gives better output. Now it gives the same effect when you put a load on it. Uh, you don't get as much of an effect as you do shorting it out. So it's the same, the same thing I'm dealing with here with the output, but wiring it this way, flipping this coil over to change the polarity um, and uh, wiring it this way, opening that end. Doubled the voltage, doubled the current. Um, which is what I saw. But anyways, wanted to keep you up to speed there. A um, little better movement on this wheel. Doing pretty good, 240. Still playing with it still uh, working at it and I have lots more to do I wanted to do a whole bunch more tests to be able to show you guys other things uh, for this video but I felt I wanted to make one and get it out there show you guys what I'm up to but uh, there you are bit of a new wiring scheme Just flipped the one coil over changed the poles and uh, same effect better current
better energy use. And uh, still going to be plugging away at it. Can't wait to get just a little smaller gauge wire to make some coils. It's going to be important uh, for feeding it through this motor anyways. Uh, shorting it out is going to work the same. But the voltage is important. Anyways, wanted to let you guys know where I'm at. Uh, there you are. And I'll talk to you next time. Hopefully a little uh, sooner than uh, it's been. It's been about a week. I had a busy week. But uh, I'm going to do a whole bunch more tests and I'll make another video. Thanks for watching. And uh, take her easy.